Hey friends, if you wish to fix the WDF violation error on your Windows 11 computer, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. Now, before we proceed with the resolutions, I'll explain the exact cause because this is a blue screen of death error. Now, it will keep on crashing your system, so you'll have to log into your system somehow through the safe mode or any mode. Now, the real issue is with HP drivers or external third-party keyboard drivers. So, my suggestion is that search for intel driver and support assistant on the bing search bar now i don't advise google because google isn't giving the correct results and once you get there then download the intel driver and support assistant it's a tool all you need to do is run it on your system and it will update all the drivers to the intel version and this is the best resolution because if you are uh, downloading Intel drivers then it will subside the third-party drivers or the brand's own drivers the next solution is an SFC scan search for command prompt in the window search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan the next solution is to update the drivers now how do we update all the drivers at once as i have said that you can run the intel driver and support assistant it will need a while to install on my system and once it does then you can click on launch and then click on always and then it will start scanning your system and it will mention that there are a few drivers that need to be downloaded interestingly it does it all online so you don't need to download a specific app on your system and simply click on download all this is how you will uh, install drivers for this particular error you will not update windows you will not uh, install optional updates because they will push all drivers even the brand's own drivers hp's driver or asus drivers or dell drivers so your approach should be to simply run the intel driver and support assistant and if everything else fails then the only solution you have is a cloud reset though i don't think you'll need it but if you do then uh, here's the procedure right click on the start button and select settings from the menu and then wait for it to load go to the system tab on the list on the left hand side right pane select recovery reset pc remove everything and take a backup of your data prior to this and then a cloud reset was this helpful if yes then please subscribe to the channel and if not then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further thank you for watching this video and have a nice day